Okay, um, this is a quick, hopefully a quick tutorial on um, the legacy title tool. Um, we are going to use text um, for a full page informational message at the beginning of our story or for any part of our story. Um, we first go to new. Um, I'm starting a new sequence from the very, very beginning. And um, this is just a quick refresher. Um, once again, we go to File, we go to New, and then we go to Sequence. And then I'm choosing um, the third folder, which is the ABCHD folder. And we're choosing 1080i. And then we choose not the first one, but the fourth one, ABCHD 1080 i30 with a 60i on the right and then down here at the bottom is our name the name of our sequence i'm backspacing the 02 i am leaving sequence in the name and then i'm just going to put legacy title um, example at the bottom you can title it whatever you wish and then you can you can click return or enter that's the same as clicking ok and uh, I'm just going to put this on top of uh, on top of black, a black background. And we're going to file for the legacy title tool. We go to new, and then we go down to legacy title. And right here, we're naming what our graphics are going to be named. And I'll just backspace. Um, I'm just going to backspace the entire thing, and I'm just going to put. Uh, NMSU campus during COVID. And then I'm going to click return or enter. That's the same thing as OK. We're getting quicker on our keyboards, correcto. And I'm just going to drag this. OK, see the arrow? See the arrow? If we hover to the middle, then we can actually extend this just so that this looks a little bit better. And we're going, to be we're going to be going back and forth between the highlighted blue T and then the highlight and then the, the little uh, selection tool, which is kind of like a little arrow. It almost looks like something from Star Trek. Um, and we'll go back to the T. And then right here, you click. And um, as soon as you click on it, then it gives you the ability to, to start using your text. I'm going to put uh, NMSU all in caps, and here in a while, in a, in a quick minute, we can change the font size, the, the actual font size and the actual uh, type of font. I'm going to put NMSU campus, March, I'm going to, we, can, we can center this if we wish. Um, I'm just going to, instead of clicking return or enter after campus, I'm just going to click um, after right there, I'm just going to click right here with the um, with uh, with the title tool right there. That way, I can just manipulate each line by itself. And I'm going to put March 2021. We'll be able to move these just like I'm moving right here. I go back. I go back from the T to the actual selection tool. And you can just click on this, and then you can just move them. Um, and then later on, here in a minute, we'll adjust the size using this little gadget here, which has, um, which is actually the size. And then I'm going to go back to T, and then I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to put uh, most classes. during the during the fall and spring during the fall and spring semesters were held I'm going to backspace that For the second straight 
semester. Classes were held online because of COVID-19 social distancing rules. This is just an example. This is just something I wrote down a few minutes ago. And uh, once again, we can go back to the selection tool. And we can just move this. Um, we'll go back to NMSU campus and we'll just uh, increase the size here. Um, you can do that either by um, you can do that either by clicking on it and putting in. Right now it's at 100. I'm going to put 130, let's say for example, and it'll it'll make the text larger. You can also hover on top of that. Oops. Um, you can just hover on top of blue and just click, click and hold um, and drag that to the left or the right, and then you can just make the you can make the text larger like that. Okay, and then the same thing for whoops, and then the same thing for the text on the bottom, and we're making the text larger using the size. Um, tool right there, and then I'll just go back to the arrow, just center that a little bit, and I think there's another way to center, except I just can't remember which one it is, I think it's one of these up here, and uh, I'm going to go back to the text here, I'm just going to put that forward, and then I'll move this one there, and then maybe move this one back. Okay. Okay. And and uh, while you're saving the, while you're writing out the text, the um, the the text is automatically being saved down here on the bottom. And I'm going to X out of the legacy title tool. Once again, this is a legacy title tool. It's under File. You go to New, and then you go to Legacy Title, and then that's how you get started. I'm going to X out of this one. Our text is already over here, and then you can you can just click on it, click and hold, and then drag that over to your sequence, and then it appears right there. I'm going to hit plus or minus just so you can see that a little bit easier on the sequence. Um, this one I just drug directly over here. Um, you can double click on it if you wish. Um, and I don't see it coming up on my preview here. I'm not too sure. But uh, this is what it looks like on your, on your sequence. If you wish, you can actually put a dissolve up to fade up the video image. You can go to the little arrows here. Lots of hidden little um, little tunnels throughout uh, Premiere. You go to Effects, and then we'll go to Video Transitions. What we're looking for is the Dissolve. Okay, I'm going to back up just so I can slow down a little bit. I don't want to lose anybody. We go back to you go to this little arrow here, and then you go to, you go to Effects, and then you go to Video Transitions, and then you go to Dissolve, and you're going to drag this little box to cross dissolve the actual effect. You're going to click on that and then drag it, and then you're going to put it right there at the bottom at the beginning. And then you could also put one at the end if you wish. And then this is going to this is the, the actual image is going to dissolve up, and then it's going to dissolve down. And then, um, so you could put this at the beginning of your um, story, and then after about maybe about two or three, maybe about two seconds of black, then your story can begin. Okay, that's all for the uh, legacy title tool. I hope this recording is working. Goodbye. Goodbye from Journalism 201, NMSU Journalism and Media Studies, Hugo Perez.
spring semester 2021.